Landon is a type 1 diabetic, and every other day we change his infusion set. His infusion set connects to his insulin pump and delivers insulin to his body. So we begin by prepping the area that we're going to put the infusion set at by wiping the area with an alcohol swab. Now here is his infusion set. This is what it looks like. His infusion set is a mini med meal. Now I'm just removing the red tab and removing the clear packaging from the infusion set. Now Landon is going to gently pull back the tape and expose the adhesive. This is the tacky part that's going to actually stick to his skin. Here I am unwinding the tubing in a counterclockwise direction. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a slot on the infusion set that the tubing is going to go in. Now Landon is carefully removing the needle guard. And now I'm going to turn the meal over and hold it by the line ridges on the side. And with one hand, I'm going to pull on the center handle of the inserter until it clicks and locks into place. And you'll know that it's locked in place because you will definitely hear the clip. Now you want to put the meal on the prepared side. You're going to squeeze the two indentions on the side. You're going to press down the center and pull it gently straight out. And voila, there you have it. We've just put on his infusion set. Now you can press down on the adhesive to make sure that it's securely on the skin. Now we're going to disconnect the tubing by squeezing the two indentions on the side. Now here is his reservoir. And here is the reservoir outside of the packaging. This is the valve of insulin that we use. I'm going to press the blue transfer guard down onto the insulin valve. From there, I begin to slowly pull down on the plunger and begin to fill the reservoir. You'll see me tapping the reservoir and that is to remove any air bubbles. Now we hold the transfer guard and turn the reservoir counterclockwise, pulling the reservoir straight up to disconnect it from the transfer guard. Now it's time to get back connected. So we're going to gently push the tubing connector onto the top of the reservoir and turn it clockwise until it slides and lock into place. Now I forgot to show you guys how to remove the plunger, but all you have to do is turn it counterclockwise to unscrew it from the reservoir but you want to be careful not to pull the plunger before it's disconnected or insulin will spill everywhere trust me I know here is the infamous insulin pump this is the device that works with the infusion set in giving Landon his insulin so what I do is I go through the necessary prompts These prompts allow me to fill the tubing up with insulin. <laughs> now I am putting the reservoir in the reservoir compartment of the insulin pump. I am now doing what is known as purging the line. That is meaning I am getting out any air bubbles that might be caught in the reservoir and it pushes all the unwanted air bubbles out. Now I simply hook him back up and he's showing you his insulin pouch. Now this insulin pouch has been through the ringers. Trust me, we've had it for four years so don't mind it. But ta-da! Look at my big boy. He has his infusion set. This is his, this is his lifeline and this is how you put on an infusion set. Hope you found this video informative and helpful. And until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, and we love you.